Hola, welcome back to the channel. This one is all about the X-T4 and its IBIS capabilities. Always been really curious if I could ditch the tripod and not have to drag it around anymore. And if I could still utilize the IBIS in the X-T4 or X-T5 or any other Fuji that has IBIS uh, for capturing long exposures, slow shutter speeds in the city. And in this one, I'm down in Little Italy uh, of San Diego. I was there for my niece's wedding. It was lovely. And it gave me a real opportunity to try out the IBIS. I will tell you, this is a little bit of an older video from last year, actually. But uh, I wanted to put it out there for you in case it was also something you might be wondering uh, if you could get some sharp images by just utilizing the IBIS and being more run and gun with the X-T4. If you're not familiar with the specs for the X-T4 with regards to stabilization, it utilizes a five axis system for its sensor. And according to Fuji, that provides uh, the ability to reduce camera shake up to 6.5 stops. For this street photography session, I was only utilizing the IBIS within the X-T4. The lens that I was using is the 16 to 55 2.8, which does not come with any kind of stabilization in it. So what did you think? Uh, from my perspective, it's my go-to now as far as utilizing the IBIS in the camera and not having to necessarily take a tripod with me unless it's like a specific use case scenario as far as maybe a time lapse or something like that. I mean, I remember back in the day when I was young and just starting with photography as a kid and you wouldn't dare go below like 1 60th for fear of getting camera shake and now being able to go down to like one third, it's, it's just incredible, especially with just being able to be more run and gun. Uh, if it's been something you're wondering, I hope that this helped you out. Uh, keep in mind, I was trying to put the camera against, you know, anything I possibly could to keep it as still as possible, like my body or I use a chair, so I put it against my chair. So just keep that in mind that I also held my breath a lot. So you're really, you know, trying to focus on helping the IBIS along. But overall, I think it does an absolutely killer job and just kind of opens up a whole new opportunity to, um, to just, yeah, be lighter on your feet and not have to drag around more gear. By the way, I use the X-T5 now. Um, I've switched to that because I really do like the screen on the back as far as the three axis of it, as opposed to the flip out of the X-T4. But if you're looking to, you know, just start with something, the X-T4 is a great option and gonna be at a better price point and it's, it's incredible money for what you get. But um, yeah, both options are fantastic as far as utilizing the IBIS and the IBIS working really well in both cameras. Thank you so much for watching this episode and I hope you're out there killing it in some street photography, getting some good stuff, getting some amazing comps. And I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.